I then would go to utilize the manipulation tool, the loophole, you would then go click the top match and run their matches. And so the top match of your subject's top match, you would run their matches, okay? Once you run their matches, there is a tool that allows you to edit that list of matches. So we're looking at the matches of the subject's top relative, not the subject's matches, right? When you edit the kit list, if you put the subject's kit number into this tool that you're going to now analyze, these matches, it tricks the system and allows you to see matches that you wouldn't have seen when you ran your initial match list. Okay. And those can be people that did not agree with law enforcement to see their yeah. Those matches that are revealed are only matches that are, have been opted out. Well, that is the only the ones that are supposed to be. They're only the ones. If, so if you see that the subject matches one of these people, because again, you're not looking at your subject's matches. You're looking at that person's top cousin, let's say, that top cousin's matches, right? When you put your subject's kit number in there, you're going to see now his kit, her kit, compared against the matches of their top match. When you find, you, you then scroll down and you look, oh, here's a match for 100 Santa Morgans. You go back to your screen where you have your list of your subject matches and you say, I don't have a match with 100 Santa Morgans. That proves that that person has opted out of law enforcement matching, but I'm still able to see them.